Hi everyone, on journal page today I'm working in this sketchbook and I glued two uh, pages together just to have a nice substrate. I'm going to start with two colors. <laughs> I've got here some light green, grayish, <laughs> light green and some white just so I will have variation in the color in the back and I'm not going to do anything special I'm just gonna go and smear it all over my page I'm uh, taking a brush with a little bit of water just to help it along and this uh, particular <laughs> paint is uh, quite thick so that's the only reason I'm taking all water with it and I don't care wherever where it goes just so I will have all kinds of variation in the color and I will probably need more white but I'll just continue right now quite quickly let's add more white where I have too much of the of the green I add white so it would be more interesting most of it is gonna get covered but <laughs> I always like to have variation in the colors so it doesn't look flat whatever I'm doing when it's on only with one color everything looks like I don't know like plastic to me okay looks nice I hope I covered everything yeah okay so now I'm going to let this uh, dry completely I want to stencil on top of it I'm gonna use this stencil and I want to create this leaf effect in the background so I'm gonna dry this and come back okay background is dry I want to stencil this one stencil I bought on Aliexpress I've got some olive green here and a makeup sponge I'm not going to go all over the page with the stencil I just want a hint of it in several places I am dabbing excess paint here on the palette so I won't have spillage and I go about it real easy I'm not putting pressure on sponge again so I won't have spillage underneath although sometimes <laughs> it all it does happen no matter what I'm trying to to do so I'm not sure how it, if how it looks it looks nice but not enough so I'm gonna continue a little bit more here and because I'm dabbing the axis sometimes I need to go over what I've done just so it would look a uh, more pronounced on more visible on the page but it's better this way than have as I said spillage let's see I'm going a little bit more here
going over the same section again okay let's see yeah that's more what I was uh, thinking it's more for having details in the back to add interest less as complete leaves so I'm gonna continue doing this I'm going a uh, for three sections on my background here here and here I find that it works for me <laughs> each time I'm doing it so that's what I'm gonna do and if it's if it's not enough as you can see I'm just going over the sections that I've already done and just adding another layer of paint just being a little bit careful about it and from time to time I'm just uh, picking it up just to see what's going on like now I know that I need to go over this section again so I'm going to do this in this area and then I'll come back okay finish the stenciling and moving on to stamping I want to add more details to my background still in the background uh, phase I've got some leaf uh, stamps like skeleton leaves this is also I believe I bought on Aliexpress and let's take some acrylic block and let's see Maybe a smaller one okay I because I'm still uh, building the background I don't some don't want something to overwhelm my page so I've picked this smaller uh, stamp and I'm using this olive grove memento uh, ink pad and I hope it will go nicely with the rest of what I've got here I'm not concerned about the quality of the print it's just more details and most of the background is gonna get covered with my a uh, focal point okay so I really like this I want some uh, dragonfly also but I think that maybe the dragonfly I will go let's try I hope I won't regret it I'm gonna use black this is to see the black by Memento and let's hope it won't be overwhelming <laughs> on the page well didn't print so well maybe I need to put more pressure okay so my ink pad this one needs uh, re-inking but it works for me right now because it's more like gray than black and it just adds to <laughs> the background and doesn't take from it so <laughs> it's a win I'm stamping quite randomly here again it's just details in the back okay so that's my background I really like it now I'm going for my focal image which is a stencil that I made uh, like magnolias and the inspiration for this stencil was from this photo that I've seen on I think Pinterest and I basically well some traced a part of it and changed a little bit and made the stem longer made more uh, <laughs> well I made it my my own design <laughs> for that matter so I'm just thinking if I want my uh, stencil going like this or like this 
let's go like this it doesn't really matter i really want i made a stencil i want to use it <laughs> that's how it goes like buying new stuff you just need to uh, to use it now i want to first stencil with gesso so i will have a nice uh, surface to put on paint and i don't want a details from the back picking through the flowers that's why i'm using the gesso and uh, also the colors will be uh, brighter when they have the white gesso underneath so let's take another makeup sponge here we go and i'm more concerned about making the flowers with the gesso then the stem i think the stem i will draw with some kind of marker and once again i'm just dabbing excess and i can see a uh, when i still see the details from the back picking through the gesso i will just go and make another layer So once again, just dabbing, stenciling. And where it needs a, another layer, just do another layer. So I'm gonna go continue with this uh, stuff, <laughs> which is repetitive and boring. And I'll be back. So I got the layer of gesso and now I want to add color. Now I can stencil, I can just go with the brush, whatever, uh, do whatever is more uh, comfortable uh, for you. I'm just going to place my stencil uh, in place again. Let's see, like this, I've got magenta here and I'm gonna try Again, I'm taking a little bit and dabbing the excess. Gonna start with the magenta at the bottom of each flower, like so. And I want to add white as I go uh, towards the ends of the petals. My stencil moved a little bit here. Never mind. Okay, so I've got the magenta on the bottom. I'm just adding where it's less. Again, needs another uh, <laughs> coat. And now I'm dipping a little bit to, uh, here in the gesso that I, I have left so I'm trying to move uh, gradually from the magenta to the pink Adding more white on my sponge. And as long as I'm going, well, quite quickly, then the paint is still wet and it blends easier. I'm adding more white at the tips.
Okay. Never seen a magnolia in real life. We don't have it here, but <laughs> I like flowers and trees and stems and leaves. Okay, I really like it. I already can see that I need to repeat here the magenta and I'm going to try and take a little bit of it here and just go again. To make the bottom more distinctive okay let's hope this is it <laughs> I'm gonna lift it yay <laughs> it worked okay now I need to do the stem and I need some brown let's see what do I have here? I've got some... What is this? Butter brown? Oh, I don't know. Bitter brown. So I'm putting a little bit here. And I'm thinking that this I will just do with some brush. Let's see. Now I'm going to also try and have variation in the color here uh, by adding again some white but right now I'm just doing part of the stem with the darker brown on, on the underside of uh, each shape so the bottom is darker than the rest don't know how much of it you can see with the white but when I'll finish covering then I hope you will see what I'm doing okay so I'm going to take from the gesso because I already have it here no point in, in putting more white paint when I have the white gesso and once again, as long as my paint is wet, I can blend it better. And I'm just alternating between the two so I will have a nice outcome to this branch. Again, picking from both uh, shades of brown, if I feel it doesn't uh, blend well. No rules to it, just playing until I'm satisfied with the result. Basically, I could have just painted everything dark brown and call it a day. I was also thinking about adding a little bit of green to to the stem dark green <coughs> sorry but decided to just leave it be
from time to time I'm just although I have the stencil I'm changing the stem as I go I don't know it's just something that I decide when as I go yeah this is it and let's see oh, I forgot here I've got just a little bit more of the stem yeah as you can see changing as I go yeah I've got like a uh, three uh, leaves here that I'm thinking for, I'm just gonna use some um, a Posca pen they are small they don't need the uh, too much let's see or not a Posca pen I don't know I've got something else let's see I've got uh, an acrylic pen from a uh, zig same thing no this is too too light let's see maybe this Posca pen hardly uh, noticeable here with the, the background but nonetheless I'm gonna leave it as is and now I just want to wait for a, the flowers to dry I'm thinking of doing a little bit of veins with a gel roll pen so I'm gonna let this dry and I'm coming back I'm back so first of all uh, this is dry second didn't like <laughs> the color of the leaves so I changed them with this Posca pen and added some more leaves just freehand here and I want uh, to stencil here a word I'm going to use this uh, stencil that says breathe and I'm using pine needles a uh, distress ink by Tim Holtz with a makeup sponge and let's hope I'm putting it in place so just taking from the ink and going like this I don't want it to overwhelm my page but I don't want it to uh, completely disappear into the background so I will lift gently in a minute and see how it looks it disappears you can hardly see it maybe if I'll press down let's see maybe I'll press down let it uh, dry and maybe add again some I will add some lines that will define the letters a little bit more with the gel uh, gel pens yeah okay moving this aside I'm taking uh, this purple uh, gel uh, pen and I'm just going and doing some like veins here at the bottom of each petal I'm not sure you can see this detail but I think it adds to the hole I will bring it uh, closer to the camera later on so you can see I'm going about it really freehand it's not planned or anything just adding little details okay almost done
yeah and my hand went on all of this <laughs> oh my god okay so I need to make it a little bit more noticeable I think I'll just grab some acrylic paint to do this and <laughs> be done with it it's not that important to me for the whole uh, look of the page so I'm gonna grab some uh, color some paint and I'll be back okay so I stenciled with acrylic paint and then I had leftover <laughs> paint so I just took my sponge and went over the edges to darken them and just frame everything in I really like what's going on here and I am still hunting to add details don't know what's going on with me but I really like this green in the back so I want a little bit more details and I'm going to use the uh, distress ink with just something like this and that's it I don't care that it doesn't really show the about the nice print again it's just more details in the background I am coming and I hope you can see all the lovely details in the back and in the front and basically this is it that's my page I really love it uh, well thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now